without making you a PhD in laptops. I'll guide you on selecting the right laptop for your needs. I've classified laptops into six key levels. As we walk through these levels, if you think your activities involve at least 30% of the needs from the next level in the next two to three years, you should jump to the next level. For example, if you're using it for general browsing and learning today, which is level one, and you expect to use the laptop for creative work in the next two to three years, you should consider getting a level four laptop. Now for each level, I will highlight the minimum requirement that you need to ensure to make sure that you're good to use the laptop for the next few years. I highly recommend not to compromise on the three key components that I highlight for each level. If you do, you will need to upgrade your laptop sooner. So the cost benefit that you had by buying a lower priced laptop will be lost. So today we'll focus on levels three to five. If you classify yourself as level one or two, that is for everyday use and students or businesses, please watch the video that I'll link over here. I'll cover MacBooks in a separate section in the end. So you can jump to that if you prefer a MacBook. With that, let's get started. Let's start with level three. This level is for coding, for data analysis, and for financial modeling. For data analysis and financial modeling, if large data sets are being used locally, I highly recommend you to level up to get a laptop with a dedicated GPU. If you're into AI ML development or game development, you will need to level up as well. In this level, that is level three, we will focus on process speed and storage for multitasking use and the number of ports to attach additional monitors, which is typical for users at this level. So what do we need to prioritize? We would need to look for an Intel or AMD 7 or 9 series processor with a specialization of P or H in Intel, V in Intel Core Ultra or HS or H in AMD or X plus in Snapdragon. Some apps will have compatibility issues with Snapdragon processors. So if you're using a niche app, make sure to check compatibility with Snapdragon processor if you're planning to go with those laptops. We would also need to look for 16 to 32 GB RAM based on our budget and at least 512 to one terabyte SSD storage for faster responsive operations in this level. Tools like SAS used for data analysis can use up to 60 GB in storage and higher memory. So you should aim to go for both a higher RAM as well as a higher storage configuration. Since many users at this level will attach additional monitors or additional peripherals, the number of ports is key. Of course, these days we can get accessories to extend the number of ports if a laptop that you like does not have additional ports. Now an integrated graphics card is good enough for this level, but there are some good laptops at a similar price that include a dedicated GPU, although at a lower configuration than that is required for creative or gaming use. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're using it for data analysis or financial modeling with large data sets that are local, you will then need to go for the dedicated GPU ones that I will recommend here. So with these base capabilities that we discussed that are required at this level, my research shows about 40 plus laptops. And here are my top recommendations. My first recommendation is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3. This laptop has an Intel Core i7 13 gen processor with 10 cores, and it also has the high performance H series processor, useful for seamless multitasking and heavy applications. It has adequate RAM and SSD storage for faster operations. With a 15.3 inch large 2K 300 nits display and multiple USB slots and HDMI ports, this is ideal for coding, data analysis and financial modeling use cases for small data sets. It is not ideal for data analysis and financial modeling with large data sets. I recommend using one of my other recommendations which have a GPU in this case. My next recommendation at a slightly higher price is the ASUS TUF Gaming A15 laptop. This laptop has a powerful AMD Ryzen 7 processor with an HS specialization, so it is meant for high performance. It has a dedicated RTX 3050 GPU, but with only 4 GB VRAM. Ideal for data analysis and financial modeling for large data sets, but not for high level gaming and creative use. It has a large 15.3 inch display with multiple ports, ideal for this level. Key to note is that the display is only 250 nits, so it is preferred for indoor use, not outdoor. It also makes some noise under heavy workloads, so it is not meant for long renders and AAA gaming at ultra settings. For that, you have to select the laptops from the next two levels. My next recommendation is the HP Victus laptop. While this is positioned as a gaming laptop, I would not recommend this for gaming for multiple reasons. The main ones being noise, vibration, and moderate cooling while gaming. Instead, I recommend it for this use, which is two levels below gaming, 
for coding, data analysis, and financial modeling. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 processor with HS specialization and a 4.7 GHz clock speed for good performance in this segment. It also has a better VRAM than the ASUS model, so it is able to handle more detailed graphics and higher resolution for professional applications like SaaS, 3D and financial modeling. At a similar price as the HP Victus, I recommend the ASUS VivoBook S16. Now this is a lightweight 1.7 kg laptop with a 16 inch display, ideal for coding and moderate workloads for data analysis and financial modeling. It has a Windows 11 and Office Home included, allowing us to get started with ease. While it has the performance levels of the HP Victus, it has a much better battery life with 70 watt hour battery performance, almost 40% higher than the HP Victus. So if lightweight and long battery life is your key need for this use, then this is the laptop I would recommend. Now let's talk about level four. Level four is for people who use photo or video editing software like the Adobe Suite, for graphics design, content creators, or for basic game development. If you're in the line of architecture, engineering, and construction, and use AutoCAD for 2D or 3D modeling, then this is the right level for you. In this level, we will focus on color accuracy, large file handling, and rendering capabilities. And what should you definitely avoid? An integrated graphics card, less than 16 GB RAM and low color accuracy unless you're connecting an external monitor. So key requirements for this level would be a powerful CPU, either an Intel or AMD 7 or 9 with a high processor performance of H, HX in Intel, HS, H or HX in AMD or X Elite in Snapdragon. Some apps will have compatibility issues with Snapdragon processor. So if you're using a niche app, make sure to check compatibility with Snapdragon processors if you're planning to go with one of those. We would look for a higher RAM capacity too, upwards of 24 GB based on our budget, 512 GB plus SSD for large file handling, a dedicated GPU like the NVIDIA RTX 4050 and above. And for creative work, a really good color accuracy is essential, 100% sRGB DCI P3. Lastly, we need to look for laptops that have a good thermal management as the laptop can get heated during long renders. Now with these base capabilities required for this level, my research shows that there are 30 plus laptops and here are my top recommendations. For future proofing your laptop purchase for video editing, for 4K plus editing with great color grating, using After Effects and for motion graphics, I have two recommendations for you. My first recommendation at this level is the Lenovo Smart Choice LOQ. This has a powerful GPU, an RTX 4050 with 6 GB virtual RAM and 105 watt TGP, allowing the GPU to run with good power. This is paired with an AMD Ryzen 7 HS processor with 24 GB DDR5 RAM and 512 GB storage. Together, this configuration is more than adequate for the creative use case. It also has a hyperchamber thermal design for cooling the laptop during intense rendering jobs. With a large 15.6 inch display with 100% sRGB color accuracy, this laptop is good for editing, some gaming and multitasking. My next recommendation is the HP Omen laptop. This has one of the best GPUs available in India right now. The NVIDIA RTX 5050 with an 8 GB DDR6 VRAM for really powerful graphics processing. Coupled with an Intel Core i7 processor with H specialization with a 5.2 GHz clock speed, this laptop gives smooth editing and rendering performance for demanding 4K creative and AI graphics work. It is heavy at about two and a half kgs and more expensive than other creative suite laptops that I recommend. But this will have you set for the next few years. Now, if you're short on budget, then you can consider these two laptops that I'll recommend. These are ideal for 1080p or basic 4K editing with minimal color grading and after effects. First is the ASUS TUF Gaming A15 laptop. This laptop has a powerful AMD Ryzen 7 processor with HS processor specialization. So it is meant for high performance. It also has a dedicated RTX 3050 GPU, but only with a 4 GB VRAM. So not ideal for heavy duty 4K editing. The display is also not 100% sRGB. So you will need to use an external monitor for better color accuracy. If these two compromises are okay for you, this can be a good laptop for your creative use. Next is the HP Victus laptop. Again here, while the CPU is powerful, the GPU is only RTX 3050 with 6 GB VRAM. So not ideal for heavy duty 4K editing. So it is able to handle more detailed graphics and higher resolutions for creative suites like the Adobe Suite or the DaVinci Resolve. 
The color accuracy is also not 100% sRGB. So this one too will benefit from an external monitor for a better color accuracy. Now let's talk about gaming laptops. Level 5 is for users that use the laptop for gaming or for those into game development. Our main need here would be for the laptop to handle the latest games smoothly and to handle heat generated during long gaming sessions. So in this level, we will focus on a good graphics processing unit for high quality visuals and a smooth gameplay. Second, a good display with a high refresh rate. And third, good thermal management. And what should you definitely avoid? An integrated graphics card, less than 16 GB RAM, and a display with lower refresh rate. So let's talk about the key requirements at this level for gaming. We should be prioritizing the GPU over here. So a dedicated GPU with RTX 4050 and upwards with good thermal management to prevent throttling during long gaming sessions. When selecting a GPU, we should also keep an eye on the total graphics power or the TGP. Higher is better. Higher TGP allows games to run with higher frames per second, so it has a better performance. Next, we need an equally powerful CPU, an Intel AMD 7 or 9 with a higher processor performance of H or HX in Intel, HSH or HX in AMD. Please make sure to check the game compatibility with these laptops. Generally, Intel or AMD are supported by most games. To be sure, you can check on apps like RoaringApps.com. Next, we need a minimum 16 GB RAM and storage up to 512 GB. So if multiple games are being installed, a higher SSD is required. Next, we should prioritize a high refresh rate of the display, 144 Hz and above for gaming. Sure, we will get laptops at a much lower price with lower configuration than these that I have recommended. Like the Intel AMD 5 series with RTX 3050 at let's say about 50 to 60,000. But like I said earlier, if you would like to future proof your laptop purchase, it is better to match or go one up with the configurations to the minimum configuration that I'm recommending. Or if that is beyond budget, then go for a desktop PC instead. With these base capabilities required for this level, my research shows that there are 80 plus laptops and here are my top recommendations. All of these can also be used for the previous level that is meant for Create. Under 1 lakh, I have three recommendations. First is the Asus Gaming Laptop V16. This is a fast 14 gen Intel Core 7 laptop with a dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 4050 with 6 GB DDR6 RAM for great gaming performance on a budget. It has 16 inch display with 144 Hz refresh rate, ideal for smooth gaming without startup. It also has an anti-glare display, which is ideal for long gaming sessions. It has a backlit keyboard and thermal cooling. The sound quality from inbuilt speakers is poor and would require additional speakers for a better sound experience. While 512 GB is good enough, for loading additional games, you might want to go with a higher configuration of this laptop with 1TB SSD storage. My next recommendation under this budget is the MSI Katana A17. This has a powerful Ryzen 9 AI processor with an RTX 4050 GPU. Great for gaming. The 1TB SSD storage is great for heavy game storage as well. The display is large, 17 inches with a 144Hz refresh rate for immersive gaming experience. This laptop has an RGB color keypad matching the gaming vibe. It has thermal cooling for both CPU and GPU to improve thermal capability and to improve their performance. The laptop is quite heavy compared to other laptops I've compared in this segment. Under 1 lakh, my last recommendation is the Lenovo Smart Choice LOQ. I recommended this earlier even for the creative use case. This has a powerful GPU, the RTX 4050, with a 6GB virtual RAM and a 105W TGP, allowing the GPU to run with good power. This is paired with an AMD Ryzen 7 HS processor with 24GB DDR5 RAM and a 512GB storage, together more than adequate for this use case. It also has a hyperchamber thermal design for cooling the laptop during intense gaming sessions. With a large 15.6 inch display and 100% sRGB color accuracy, this laptop is not just for gaming but also for editing. Now, let's talk about gaming laptops that are suitable for intense, competitive AAA gaming. Of course, there are gaming laptops at all prices up to 3 lakhs and above, but for the purpose of this video, I will limit it to around 1.25 lakhs. My first recommendation is the Lenovo Legion 5. This is a great laptop for gaming with a 24 GB RAM, an Intel Core i7 processor and an Nvidia RTX 4060 GPU with 8 GB DDR6 RAM and a TGP of 140 watts, one of the best. It has a large 15.6 inch IPS panel with 144 Hz refresh rate ideal for gaming. It also has 100% sRGB color accuracy, so also useful for advanced creative work. 
Cooling is advanced with fans spinning both inwards towards the processor and outwards to expel hot air from the rear to ensure uninterrupted gaming without the laptop getting heated up. It is a bit heavy at 2.3 kgs and battery performance is average. My next recommendation is the HP Omen laptop. This has one of the best GPUs available in India right now, the NVIDIA RTX 5050 with an 8GB DDR6 VRAM. Good for intense gaming sessions. It has 165Hz refresh rate with a 16-inch 400 nits IPS display. Really comfortable for long gaming sessions. Coupled with a 24GB RAM and a 1TB SSD storage, this laptop gives smooth, stutter-free gaming experience. And my last recommendation is the ASUS ROG Strix G16 gaming laptop. This is a top-tier gaming laptop with Intel HX specialization CPU, so it is optimized for very good performance. It comes with an NVIDIA RTX 5050 GPU with 8GB virtual RAM. It has a fast 165Hz refresh rate with 16-inch anti-glare display. With three fans and surround vents, cooling is more efficient. In addition, it has one of the best battery capacity amongst gaming laptops as well. Overall, great value for a gaming laptop. Now let's talk about which Apple MacBook to select. For levels 3 and 4, I would recommend a minimum configuration of the Apple MacBook Pro with 16GB RAM and 512GB SSD storage. If you have the budget, go for a higher RAM configuration at the very least as that is not expandable in the MacBook Pro. I am recommending the latest M5 chips for the best performance as well. Apple MacBook Pro has the best display amongst laptops with a vibrant liquid retina XDR display with high color accuracy. It's ideal for creatives and professionals. It also has a really long battery life, fast SSD storage and a quiet fan system which makes it suitable for long work sessions. For level 5, which is for gaming, I do not recommend an Apple MacBook at all as the support of games on the MacBook is minimal compared to Intel and AMD based laptops. If you found this video useful, share the video and subscribe to become part of the 1.9 lakh plus community that trusts us with their decision making. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.